This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Romans chapter 12, verses 6 to 14, and then Matthew chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. Being paralyzed, what a terrible thing that is. Unable, unable to move, unable to fend for yourself, really a wretched life. And in this particular reading, it is a metaphor also for what a life full of sin is really like. It is not God who paralyzes you, by the way. You'll notice it's God who actually releases the person from paralysis. Somebody said to me the other day that God was an eternal, abusive parent. Well, if that was God who paralyzes, if it was God who maims or makes ill or tortures or kills, then that description would be well deserved. And there are many preachers who make you think that actually God is an absolute monster. God is absolutely the worst, the worst horror, abusive and terrible. And I can see how it is that person saw God as being an eternal abusive parent. But in reality, that's not what God is like at all. Now, if we look at the world that we live in at the moment, it does look as if human beings are the abusive ones. The suffering we see all around us at the moment and in all parts of the world, the tragedy, the war, the killing, the isolation, loneliness, pain, hunger, starvation, and so on. So much of it politically motivated by greedy people A lot of that is directly caused by humanity and our representatives. And then there's other pain and dying and other things that just happen to be the way that life is. There is a huge amount in life that is simply the roll of the dice. Some people live long, happy, healthy, beautiful lives and other people do not. Some people have incredibly fortunate lives and their bodies are healthy until old age, fit and strong and so on. Other people are born disabled. And that just is the way that life is. In Christianity, we say it's the result of the fall. Some people would love to get married and they don't get married. Some people get married and they find their lives utterly miserable as a result. That is not God micromanaging things. That is often just simply the way that life is. But all of us, whoever we are, have bodies that eventually go wrong. We grow old, we grow tired, we get pains, we get sick, and we die. And does God look down loftily from his cloud, uncaring, unmoved by all that he sees? Does God choose to inflict a special torture? No. In fact, it's the other way round. God does not look down. He comes down. He came down and he comes down. And he becomes, he became one of us. entering into our way of life and accepting all that human beings, his, shall we say, eternally abusive children, can throw at him. If you're not sure what that is, 
Then go and read Mark chapters 14 and 15. And how does God react to all of this abuse that he himself is given? Does he say, well, that just about puts the tin lid on it. I've had enough. Time to destroy this lot. Not at all. Instead of that, which would be a very human thing to do, he says, forgive them. And Luke says that the abuse of children went away beating their breasts and hanging their heads. Forgive. And that is what the paralyzed man received. He, for he received forgiveness. The effect was absolutely dramatic. No longer lying on his bed, his pallet, his mattress, his uh, means of transport to take him to the Lord, but his limbs unfurled and he was able to stand, pick up that stretcher and go home to where he really belonged, to the place where he should be, the place where he would be comfortable. There's plenty of abuse going on that day and at the cross, and his abusers were the super religious, those Pharisees who looked on and said, oh, blasphemy, sinner, evil person. And the super powerful, the chief priests and the Romans, who between them connived to crucify the abused were the helpless, sick and oppressed and God himself. But those released by Christ, released from their sin, he says, your sin is far from you, is taken away, is released, is dropped. Those released by Christ do not go on to abuse, do not go on to condemn, do not oppress. Instead, they go on to serve, to love, to aid, to be hospitable, to bless even their own persecutors and abusers. And those released by Christ go to their home in the very heart of God himself. Not an abusive parent. Don't be an abusive child. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.